guys, Lassic here. So today, I wanted to show you guys this new event going around on Roblox called Around the World Event. And it has to do with um, Finding Dory, the, you know, the movie that's coming out. Basically, there are two different tests. You can take a test on Japan or a test on um, Spain, which has five questions. And as long as you get four out of five questions right, you get a new item. You get one of the new exclusive items. Plaza de España. Okay, let's go to Plaza de España. Okay, we're here and look, it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Hello, are you, are you one of the NPCs? Enrique, may I talk to you? Hola, welcome to the Plaza de España. Can you tell me about this place? This place is beautiful. How did this place arrive to RHS? How do you feel about the quizzes? Goodbye. Okay, can you tell me about this place? The Plaza de España, the Spanish square, Oh, okay, this is moving too fast. Uh, the Spanish Square in English is a plaza built in the Spanish city of Sevilla in the year 1928. Okay, what was it built for? 1928, 1928. Okay, I, I feel like I have to remember that year for some reason. 1928. The Plaza de España was originally built for hosting the 1929 Ibero-American Ibero Exposition, a world fair where many countries would come together to showcase their latest accomplishments. Okay, continue. The building surrounding the plaza hosted these exhibits and showed off Spain's incredible architecture. After the exposition was over, they were repurposed into mostly government buildings, and the plaza is now a popular recreational area. Oh, cool. Thanks. No problem. If you are looking for even more information, some of the other people could probably tell you a few things. Let's talk to Isabella. Oh, hola, ¿cómo estás? Nice to see you. Thanks, I'm good. What's up? Not much. I'm just hanging out here like I do most days. This is one of my favorite places to visit. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it is really beautiful. Yeah, sometimes I like to go watch the local football games or soccer as it's called in America. I'll always be rooting for Sevilla FC. Is that the most popular sport in Spain? Football? Yes, soccer, I'm pretty sure. Today, it definitely is. Lots of people in Spain love to watch football, uh, football, including the rest of my family. Cool. For a very long time though, bullfighting was a beloved tradition all across Spain. A matador would enter the ring and go face to face with a bull to impress the audience. I've been to one before and I thought it was a pretty drilling event. Interesting. Thanks. You're welcome. It was good talking to you. Adios. Adios. Rodrigo. Hello, Rodrigo. Hola, ¿qué tal? Not much. How's it going? Pretty good. I came a long way. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait, Rodrigo. I'll just wait for you. Okay, pretty good. I came a long way to visit the Plaza de España here, and it was well worth the travel time. This place looks like incredible. Yeah, it does look really incredible. Where are you from, Rodrigo? I live in Madrid, the capital of Spain. Madrid actually has its own landmark named the Plaza de España. But in my opinion, the one in Sevilla tops it. Oh, okay. How long did it take you to get here? It was about a five-hour drive. I made sure to take a siesta, a midday nap, before the long trip. I needed that extra rest. Cool. Nice talking to you. Yep. Thanks for chatting with me. Hasta luego. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to actually have um a... Quest, a quiz on Japan too. Okay, let's go take uh, my quiz on Spain first. Oh, you know what? It does say um, Japan school project and quizzes. So maybe it means quizzes for both Japan and Spain. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can actually take the quiz. History. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, you can actually take both quizzes here. I want to take a quiz on Spain. Okay, what is the capital of... What is the capital city of Spain? Ugh, so easy. Madrid. In what year was the Plaza de España built in Sevilla? I told you. I knew this was going to be on the quiz somehow. 1928. Yes. <laughs> For what purpose was the Plaza de España originally built? Um, it was... Hold on, making Seville res no 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 the, the first one the um to host a world fair siestas while not as widespread nowadays have been a common tradition in Spain for a long time. What is a siesta? Uh, it's an afternoon nap, and 
and I know that because I took Spanish. <laughs> Which of these is a historical popular Spanish tradition that involves a the presence of blah, blah, blah. Let's read that again, okay? Which of these is a historically popular Spanish tradition that involves the presence of a metador to impress the audience? Football, soccer, no. Bullfighting, of course. I'm pretty sure I got 100% on that. Congratulations! You won a prize for completing the Around the World mission. Yay! Okay, so I got, oh, see? I told you I got 100%. So, oh my gosh, look at all these drawings. They are so pretty. Makes me want to submit my own drawing and have it featured on here. How cool would that be? Oh my gosh, that would be super duper 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 cool. Anyway, we need to go through this um, project exhibit on Japan. Is this the end of it? or It's a very small um, project display section, but look at all those beautiful photos. And there's a map of Japan. Konnichiwa! Welcome to my school project on Japan! Okay, can you teach me about Japan? Sure! Japan is an island country located in East Asia. You can see it on the map I've got here. The capital of Japan is Tokyo. I have a feeling that they're going to ask about the, to um, the capital. So, we're going to continue. Despite of it being a small country area-wise, it's actually... It actually has a population of about 127 million people, over a third of the United States population. Wow, that is actually really, impre really, really impressive. Over a third with 127 million people. Okay, got it. Well, she has a lot to say for sure. The geography of Japan is fairly mountainous. This is because Japan sits on top of tectonic plate borders. Tectonic plates are basically different sections of Earth which slides against each other very slowly and these sliding movements create mountains along the plate borders. It can also create earthquakes and tsunamis and all those other stuff. <laughs> Continue. The tallest, most iconic mountain in Japan is named Mount Fuji. It is 12,389 feet over, uh, uh, which is about 3,776 meters. Are you going to ask me about how tall it is? Because if that's the case, I might have to take a note right now. <laughs> that is over two miles. Mount Fuji is a popular symbol in Japanese art and photography, and many thousands of people each year set out to climb this incredible mountain. Lastly, an iconic cultural symbol in Japan, the cherry blossom. Sakura trees! Cherry blossoms generally appear in Japan around the start of springtime, the beginning of April the most in most places, with their pink flowers, which to the Japanese represents the beauty of life. They only stay for a week or two, so it's important to truly appreciate them during the short uh, short time window continue looks like marie did a lot of research on japan for sure the arrival of springtime and the cherry blossom marks the new beginning to the japanese in fact for that very reason april is also when the japanese school year starts it's the perfect time for them to start anew their school year consists of two terms april to july and then september to december with vacations in between quite unlike many other countries in the world, but that seems really cool to me. Okay, continue. Do you have more information? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a lot of information to take in, guys. And that wraps up my presentation about the country of Japan. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some new things as a result. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anything new you want to hear about? Uh, I, I feel like I should ask about the Golden Temple. It's probably going to be on the quiz. That is the Kinkakuji, the Temple of the Golden Pavilion, located in Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto. Okay, got it. Kyoto. The Golden Pavilion is a Zen Buddhist temple which was founded in 1397 after being purchased from a previous owner. As the name suggests, the temple is covered with gold leaf and it overlooks a beautiful pond. Have a look at the real-life picture I've got over here. That looks really impressive. I agree, the Golden Pavilion has been around for a long time and it's one of Japan's most famous landmarks. Continue. Oh gosh, another year. I already to I totally forgot about the other year too. In 1950, though, there was a very unexpected turn of event. A monk set the Golden Pavilion on fire and completely destroyed the entire building. That is crazy. Not anybody but a monk did it. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. That is super crazy. It was a truly unbelievable act. However, the good news is that the Golden Pavilion was rebuilt five years later and it now stands even stronger and more visually impressive than the original structure. 
That's good, okay? Today, the Golden Pavilion is open to all type of visitors and remains one of the most popular locations in the country, especially for tourists. I hope you enjoyed that little presentation and learned a few things about this amazing Japanese landmark. Thanks, I sure did! Great to hear. Is there anything else you need? Uh... Wait, wait! I totally did that one already! Oh man, how do I exit out? Uh, your project looks great. I have to compliment on that. Because she did an awesome job with her project. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I spent a lot of time working on this. <laughs> what are the answers to the quiz? Uh, no. I'm not going to do that. No, that wouldn't be good. Goodbye! Let's go take a quiz on Japan. I do not remember one of the years, but hopefully it's not going to be on it. Okay, what's the capital city of Japan? It's Tokyo, and Kyoto is where that, um, the temple is. The Kinkakuchi, the temple of the Golden Pavilion in to Kyoto, is a temple dedicated to which major Japanese religion? Buddhism. The Golden Pavilion was originally founded in, oh, founded in 1397. Okay, good thing it mentioned it because I would not have remembered this year. This is the year that I totally forgot. But it was destroyed in 1950 and, and had to be rebuilt after which one of these events? An earthquake, a fire, an airstrike, a tsunami, a fire, sadly. Along with the Golden Pavilion, Japan is also home to which one of these legendary landmarks? Mount Fuji! <laughs> Mount Everest. <laughs> Unlike many other countries, Japan's school year starts in which month? April. Yay! Congratulations! You completed one of the Finding Door missions and earned this awesome reward. Unfortunately, gears are not allowed to be in this game, so I couldn't show it to you guys wearing it. But I'll definitely insert a picture right now showing you guys how Finding Door gear lantern looks when you hold it. But this is how the hat looks on me. Isn't it so cute? This is so cool. And you get to learn about the history and you get to take a fun quiz. Well, not really. Quizzes are never fun. But you get to take a quiz, and you get to learn, and you get to explore. So overall, I'm really, really happy with this event. Now I gotta try out the other um, game to get the other items too. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what to do in Roblox in case you guys were not aware of the event. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!